Let's get a good workout going. No, no, no one's... No, I, I can't think of anything that rhymes okay. with legs except for something I don't want to say. <laughs> Uh, someone is going to search through the dregs trying to find a way to win these games that ends with eggs? I don't know. Close enough. We'll, I tried. we'll call that. We tried. The funny thing is uh, I do actually like poetry. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's better than that. But speaking of better than that, Ling, Heretta, trying to show they're better than that, and by that they mean their opponent as they seek to be the last person making it through loser's side over to loser's finals to fight East off against MGW. Yep, and in a, a different universe, this would have been the tropical runback for Link. Stitch face online for Ling, you can already see, trying to make some use of it here at the ledge. I love already the use of the Peach Bomber to make it over the Gyro. And I'm gonna be honest, I think, well, I, I think Ling um, had the mental adjustments ready to go for Tropical. I also, he is incredibly comfortable in this matchup. Uh, when he lost to Zamba at uh, Fusion a few months ago, he went back, he spent a whole weekend just labbing Zero to death, the only work on Rob, so that he had more tech in the matchup next time, right? This man has been in the lab in this matchup, he is practiced, he is comfortable, and it is on full display against Heretta. No matter what that Rob does, Ling is ready for it, but it doesn't matter sometimes when you're ready for Rotor Arms. Sometimes yes. they find a way. Yeah, Heretta using the Rotor Arms to get through the gyro that Ling was trying to use to cover himself there at the ledge. But now Heretta, a full stock behind, gonna have to be finding some huge combos of his own. I mean, we did see that in uh, previous sets against Tropical, but you've got a smaller hurt box like Peach. It's gonna be a little bit trickier to find that one opening. And the up throw on the item there just to cover the space. Dot eyes, not gonna find its mark. Arc, I like the just the platform mix or the, the turnip mix ups from Ling, right? Changing the spacing not and the timing on where to avoid these items, keeping Heretta guessing, trying to maybe find a reflector Ooh. there, but the reversal for the stock for Heretta is gonna keep him in this game, get back to stage. We've seen him throw out these zero to dust before. The question is, can he find them when it matters most? Can he even avoid these turnips to explain that no robot, no mom, robots don't have to eat vegetables? All right, able to make it back into center stage. Ling committing a little bit too hard with that Peach Bomber. And all right, Heretta still looking for some pressure, but no gyro in hand, unfortunately. Perry gonna be uh, removing that from the stage in 201% right now. Heretta is knocking on death's door, but all right, the neutral is gonna be taking it. Ling's ability there to utilize float for just a second control the control the space is to force a character like Rob watch 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 what happens here, right I the miss tech you have to jump um and then okay they full hop they've air dodged the platform there's nowhere left to go oh even if you di lower and you're able to tech that Nair covers all of platform but also even if you do di lower Link can react to that and just float and then react to your tech up mm -hmm. there is nowhere to run from that situation and now Heretta I mm, Heretta doesn't know. It do does he know? This is Peach's best stage and Ling's best stage. Those high as we're talking about before, right? The high side platforms letting you just float camp away. Yeah, Rob can get up there. It's not as scary as with some other characters, but it's still scary. Peach very still very hard to contest with the lead. As well, that big center plat space very good for both characters, but Boy, does Peach like that for her combo. Yeah, I'm curious to see, because, I mean, Heretta has been throwing out the burner boosts a lot, so I'm curious to see if we'll be seeing that in response to Ling making himself at home above these uh, side platforms. And as well, we just saw it from Ling, right? Underneath the side platforms as well, L can also be huge. Oftentimes, those plats are great to help with additional recovery mix-ups, but for Peach, because she can float just underneath them, they can actually reduce them even further, kind of acting as a trap to catch your tags. All right, Beretta getting sent off stage there with the back air, trying to find his way back into center stage. Does kind of trade a little bit with the gyro, but Ling is the one to find stage advantage first and able to shark the platform there with the up air. 
Yep, and trying to paint the rainbow there for a second with that up air, Ling is gonna find a very creative route to stage control is just let Heretic go off after him and just miss. <laughs> but, you know what? It doesn't matter how you get there sometimes, it just matters or is the result at the end of the day. And so far it's working for Ling as he finds the combo but drops it once again. Heretic DIing down, finding the time to parry was brilliant. And, but at the same time, you don't see Ling drop this very often. Absolutely, you're not going to be getting too many of those drops. And meanwhile, Heretta hasn't been able to find too many of those huge combos himself. A lot of those confirms into Arm Rotor. Right. Ling's DI on point, even with the double DI cross up. Uh, he has oh, been around no. the block, but the big body of Rob getting popped up by the parasol hitbox. That's just an interaction you don't see every day. Absolutely, that is abs that is a heartbreaker for Heretta, who really had that stock in the bag, and now you've got to deal with Ling having that stage control and potentially now putting you at a stock disadvantage. Does, does Rob have a heart? Um, I feel like it's just a motherboard. <laughs> the the electronic engine it's a that Rob breaker. has. Huh? Okay, I'll, I, I'll I, show myself that. <laughs> and uh, speaking of, maybe uh, Ling will save me the work, because he certainly just found a quick way to show Heretta out. Heretta returning the favor in kind, and right now, Force, one stock apiece. Ling trying to just show you that, hey, uh, yeah, I lost to a cable, but uh, don't forget who I am. He's still, he's still number two seed for a reason. He's number two seed? Yeah. Oh, I think John is uh, number one. That makes sense having that home field advantage. But right now, Ling trying to make quick work of Heretta's last stock, the pressure with the jabs as well. And once again, right, Ling's just micro adjustment on the timing, utilizing float or not using float, right? Even for just a frame to just change his space and his timing on the verticality of these back airs and these neutral airs. There's keeping Heretic guessing exactly on when those buttons are going to connect, throwing off the parry timing, throwing off the aggression. It's just given him that X factor he needs to stay in this game. But with the best of three, or best being beyond us, there's one more game after this, even if Ling manages to take it. And with how well Heretic is adjusted, I would not be surprised at all to see five games out of this set. Absolutely, but we may be seeing a third game sooner than we thought as Ling looking to chase Heretta very high up. That was crazy up. float cancel grab. All right, still ready to shield these gyros on the coming, and Ling reacting to the down smash with the back air. Let me taking game two and moving on into game three. It was just, honestly, Ling has just locked, was at the end there, just locked down. And you saw he kept him, you saw he kept Coretta alive. But there were opportunities he certainly could have capitalized on. Mm -hmm. oh. And you might say, oh, well, why didn't Ling uh, capitalize on that read, capitalize on that reaction? Why didn't he, he take advantage of the opportunity? It's so he can make Coretta think that they got away with it, store those for this game three, and then take advantage of those opportunities the next time they come up to punish them then. Because it's not just about the game, it's about the set, right? It doesn't matter if you win the battle, if you lose the war, and Ling knows that. And right now, Ling is absolutely looking to win the war with these huge combos coming out. He just tried to combo off Gyro, it didn't work. Unfortunately, sir, the, the driving range is closed. You're gonna have to just stand at all for that ballroom dancing class, shake those hips a little bit instead, finding a couple back airs, and just, again, just the evasive float movement here from Ling is making him so hard to pin down. Heretta, though, has made some adjustments and he's managing to keep this one tight. Yeah, that being said, though, definitely missed a few of, like, down tilts into grabs. Heretta not quite able to capitalize on it. Stitch at the top there is gonna be going away, dash tack, We'll be taking uh, first blood for Ling, and that's oh, a, and that's our favorite, it, friendly man right on schedule. That's Ling. Ling with his he's pulled multiple Saturns, multiple bombs in bracket today. Hey, people might say, uh, how Th those odds are crazy, and we and if you're like us and you've watched Ling before, you're just like, yeah, no, this is just an average Ling <laughs> tournament run. 
All right, Heretta firing back, not going down without a fight. Still two stocks to work through. That shield's looking super low. Link continues on the pressure. Yeah, and this is where where those stored adjustments, right, from last game come out. Every way mix-up Heretta had to get out of disadvantage, every panic option we saw, right, come out during that extended it, it, it batting around that happened as Link played with his feet before the end of that game too. And now we're seeing as, as Heretta tries to throw out those mix-ups for only the second time, Link has already gotten the downplay. Absolutely, Heretta now on potential tournament stock unless he's able to make some huge adjustments. All right, though, catching Ling on the platform with the back air is definitely a start, but if you're not able to you know, finish your plate, then Ling is going to be making it back. I love the like deep angle there from Ling, able to parasol back up to the ledge. His knowledge of that move, of this character's recovery, is incredible force for sure. That being said, what is also incredible is that Heretta still found a way, all clawed it back to the last stop situation. This is Rob we're talking about, no gyro in hand, so you've got a little bit of work to do, but there it is. Ling finding the all-important trade that prevented that from being a potentially true death bubble toss combo, but Heretta finding a way to play himself back in this one. Yep, looking for another one of those uh, gyros into downer, but unfortunately, Ling not biting, and now we're starting to see the turn of pressure that we saw Ling, earlier in this game. And Ling trying to find I, the drop off of drop through into Zare, and instead of just getting a forward throw, gonna allow him to stay, Heretta to stay alive for just another moment. But the drift back, float cancel once again. You see the, the drift full in, and we'll. we'll We'll see if this, this gets replayed, but it's the full drift in into the float cancel drift back for just a second. And just, it's just beautiful movement from Link here. Watch, watch what he does. So he, he double jumps, and then... Do you see how he changes his drift there? Mm -hmm. At the end. And it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. He... His willingness to go from, to use his double jump, to use that float, as you see it stutters a little bit and then comes down to not just change when his double jump height ends, but also change his drift and say, okay, I'm going full forward. No, I'm going straight down now. And no other character in the game can do that. Characters with a double jump cancel can kind of do something similar-ish, but not the same. And that's really where Ling consistently gets people is he is by far the most tricky peach in those situations. He is by far the one who makes you guess the most when it comes to Okay, what's your micro spacing? What's your timing? What's your aerial drift? Mm. Like, people will fade back punish.